One, green light, green light, green light. This C-17 plane is 25,000 feet in the air, and in less than four minutes, it lands. So what we're doing out here today is testing Orion, which is NASA's next generation spacecraft. This is test number five of 18. Orion's been in development for a number of years. Uh, and the president has told us to head toward an asteroid by the 2025 time frame and on to Mars by the 2030s, which sounds like a long time away, but it's really not. Today, they're testing the parachutes. If you string the three main canopies inflated end to end, they're actually enough to put a shadow on a normal standard size football field. So they're setting up failures to see what will happen in a worst case scenario. The ultimate end user for these parachutes will be an astronaut. Testing over and over to see how everything holds up. There was no apparent damage, no sails blown out or anything, so first glance this looked like a very good deployment. You see this foam, it broke off when Orion touched Earth, but that is supposed to happen. They say that the foam is put there so that when the capsule hits the hard ground, like right here in Yuma, it's protected. We're going to bring a uh, mobile uh, four-wheel drive crane here and a flatbed truck and It'll take a bit of doing. But Orion will head back to the air delivery hangar at YPG, and the parachutes are off to Santa Ana, California, where they will take a deeper look into how the capsule and parachutes truly held up. And this is what's going to finally take us further than we've ever gone before. With the protection from the parachutes and Captain America's shield, Orion landed safely and will be back in space in no time at all. Reporting in Yuma, Vanessa Herrera, ABC 5 News.